Third not guilty plea tonight, this time from one of the designers of the Verud water slide where 10 year old Caleb Schwab died. John Schooley in court today charged with second degree murder after Schwab died and riding that Verut water slide at Schlitterbahn in 2016. 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock shows us what happened at today's hearing. Andy? Mike Schooley agreed to surrender his passport so he won't leave the country before his trial starts. The most significant issue addressed in court today was Schooley's bond. John Schooley arrived in Wyandotte County Court in a black and white jail jumpsuit. It was a sharp contrast to his Schlitterbahn co-defendant Jeff Henry, who appeared in the same courtroom last week wearing a suit and tie. KCMO attorney Justin Johnston argued Schooley's bond should be reduced from $500,000 to $250,000. He argued Schooley willingly turned himself in after arriving in Dallas from a business trip in China and is not a flight risk. But the judge ruled the bond should stay at a half million dollars due to the serious of the charges and because Schooley has no ties to the area. Is he going to be able to postpone? I'm not commenting. Thank you. Assistant Attorney General Adam Zentner also declined comment on the bond ruling. Why was that appropriate? I, I, I can't make any comment. I can refer you to our public information officer. Both Schooley and Henry are accused of being so reckless in their design of Verruckt, they knew it was dangerous and it resulted in Caleb Schwab's death. Henry posted bond and flew back to Texas by private jet last week. Then he promptly became the subject of a misdemeanor threatening case in his hometown of New Brunfels. His attorney Ron Barrasso told us Henry would talk to police on Friday, but a New Brunfels police spokesman says so far Henry has not contacted them. And so far Henry isn't charged with a new crime in Texas. His attorney is concerned if he is, Henry's bond could be revoked and he could sit in jail in KCK while he waits for his trial. Both Schooley, Henry, and Schlitterbahn operator Tyler Miles are scheduled to go on trial together in September. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.